Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next episode of the Apex Show. I hope you're doing well. And today I'm going to be speaking about accurate expectations. And uh, the first thought that I'll, I'll start this with or could it, could it kick this off with is that you can go beyond what you think you can go beyond. And the reason why I'm saying that is, is because it's one of the things that I'm even reminding myself every single day that there's just a whole different league even for myself. And it's, it's a thought that I've heard quite a long time ago, but um, just recently, we um, just every single day, I just, just remind myself of all of all, all the things that uh, I'm currently working on, that there's just such a different league that I, de- I don't even know, currently know about. And um, it, it all just depends on how much effort, grit, and just everything else that it will require, I'll be able and willing to put in. It's it's just that simple. Um, just a game of inputs and outputs. Like the more you put in, the more you get out. The more I would say, like the more you put in, and the more focused you are on on the actual inputs that you put in. In terms of like, if you're just focusing on one industry, or if you're scattered around and you're jumping from one industry to the other, it's very important to just just be very accurate with this. Uh, at least like from my point of view, because that was kind of like even the thing that I, uh, in the beginning, I just jumped from one thing to the other, um, which inevitably like helped me even to, to get to the point where I am right now, just, just really being kind of set in that, I would say, just something that I have a huge passion in, <laughs> might be a so kind of good side effect. And, and yeah, so uh, one thing that I like to elaborate on here is that just just last week, I had a call with one guy. He's a few year, few years younger than me. He's currently in high school, and he he just like asked me about a few business tips and like just what what he should do with a few things that he's currently working on. And what I I, I could see like I just like that saw my sixteen year old or my seventeen year old version of myself in his eyes or in the questions that he was asking. And just looking back at the time when I was 16 or 17, like just always having kind of like this kind of mindset, vision, and even back then, just like really doing what I thought was everything in my capabilities just to move forward. And looking back, I just like would say that I was just slacking off, not really doing any progress. And that's even the way that's or that's even the reason why I named this podcast Accurate Expectations, because it's very important to just have the expectations set right from the beginning. And in terms of mainly, uh, I would say that the price it'll take, the sacrifices you'll need to make, and kind of like how much how much you'll put in without expecting to, to get in anything out. And this is one of the ground like like just ground zero which is just really being able to just put in so much freaking effort because when i was starting one of my uh first kind of like ju- just gigs or, or or things that was i was kind of like business business oriented um just just really trying to make my, my first steps forward because i was like a salesman so yeah doing website but on the other hand i was like selling stuff via phone so i i just like did 200 calls uh it was like zoom calls zoom presentations within a period of i would say like one month or one one and a half months and i didn't sell a lot of stuff like way under my kpis key performance indicators that i back had back then and i was just like really trying to figure out okay what's what's working what's not like why i why am i feeling in like in this regard and as i was just analyzing it further and further i just like after a like like just a certain period of time, I just lost lost my motivation, and eventually went went and did something else. And the thing here is that like just looking back, it's just have the right question to ask is like okay, how tall of a ceiling you have? How much are you really willing to invest before you see any um just kind of like any anything you'll get out of that? And the more you have, like the, the the longer the runway you have, the more time and energy and everything else you're willing to invest before you actually see any results um, out of that. Like, 
the higher you're gonna go. Now even seeing that, like that's even kind of like the, the mentality that I have right now. That like there were many things, and even like just becoming more clear about actually the stuff that I want to be working on and actually the stuff that I'm doing. And now the last 45 days, just like great, um, kind of like shifted my focus a bit, made a certain more hard this uh, like harder decisions, and now just running like really hardcore mode, um, just really. Uh, having everything dialed in, sleeping seven to eight nights, uh, not, not nights, seven to, seven to eight hours every single day, um, kind of um, just tracking 16 to 17 hours of work every single day, six workouts a week, uh, and yeah, pretty much, it's like, I um, didn't take didn't get, take a single day off for like one and a half months. Now I'm just really trying to figure out if this stuff works and even how I feel. Personally, it works. Uh, it's just there. There's just in terms of having accurate expectations and know that in terms of building something great or even like just building something that is not great because it actually like provides you with financial stability because I really find that that's a very selfish and uh, just kind of low goal to aim for I would say uh, just just something bigger and better is I guess um, more encompassing in terms of all the other values that I really stand behind or stand for so yeah I guess like just just having accurate expectations and be willing like for example for me having a great look at all the things I've gone through and even just like accurately assessing my the place where why where I am right now. I have like just a lot of experience. Um in even in terms of the things that we created. But I know like just just for me to be able to move to the next level where I wanna be in terms of my skill set and the person who I wanna be because that's that's the most important thing for me. Like okay I just want to be jacked. I want to be jacked. And then there are also multiple other categories that I want to just, okay, take off. Like, great. Now, uh, the things that I can accomplish. And it's for everyone else. I know, I know that, for example, if I would achieve the things that I want to achieve and I wouldn't be jacked or I wouldn't have all the other things, um, then it, it wouldn't just be be the kind of like the thing that I want. And even like just, just maybe comparing my 16-year-old self and maybe even a part of the thing that I actually saw in the uh, like see on a friend or on the guy who kind of like asked me for mentoring is that I when I was 16 or 17 I just thought that like it would be just everything about the addition and for a very long time I played this game like just I just thought that I would not be I wouldn't it wouldn't be necessary for me to actually sacrifice any some, some things that I like, and for that reason, I ended up going forward in multiple directions at the same time, which inevitably led me to, to just kind of like not fully pursue any of of those directions until recently. And it's like just just there's the, this kind of price you need to pay for. Um, having certain that kind of results, and the kind of, the kind of price that you might take is there's, okay. You might be more focused. You might you m- might need to work more. You might need to. Um, I mean, like just just for example, stop hanging out with uh, or going to so many parties or traveling so much for fun, or like they're just different kind of prices that you pay at every single level, and it's it maybe even price in terms of your um how private you are or the privacy of your life um that's that's a great thing or even your security if if uh, one if 10,000 people or 20,000 people follow you in a small country or in a city and it's a small city it's like the city has 500k people living there then um it's like you just go around and all the people know you and they know where you live and you have then just these weird people who just stalk you and um, it, it just gets kind of weird. Um, so it, it's just like, okay, you go up, but at the same time, just just the more 
pluses you have that at the same time you have also more minuses like the for example if you scale your business the more customers you're going to have the more um, happy customers you're going to have but at the same time the more unhappy people you're going to have and the more people hating on your business or hating on yourself or that's the same thing if, if you scale your social media and if you like just get to 20,000 people uh, following you or something like that for example I did that uh, and it, it was just like a very big breakthrough for me because I just thought that um, like when I was, yeah, 16, 17, I told that, okay, if I would have more people following me, like I would have just people that, that would like me kind of, or just like feeling that I'm, I'm great and, um, like the content and take value from that. But at the same time, like just what happened is that, okay, we scaled the movement and we got a lot of people who just were really engaged and who really liked what I was doing and what we are sharing, what we are creating. And at the same time, we just got a equally big portion of people who were just hating and just like leaving the the weirdest comments out of the all. and if you just like sometimes when I read them it was like okay uh, I totally mess, messed up my focus for the whole day so just two cents out of that is like when I was 16 I thought that it would be always about that issue but now I really f- am I just know that there are a lot of sacrifices that you need to make and that the more you have, actually, like, the more you also kind of trade off in terms of, okay, now I, it's kind of great for me, for example, as of right now, just to go in the US and ju- just take a walk and, and no people know me or no one knows me. Now, on the other hand, if I just go somewhere in Slovakia, I immediately like, a lot of, lot of people recognize me and just, just start talking to me so it, it's just very weird um from my point of view so so like having accurate expectations of what you actually want and uh them being being okay with, with like the side effects that that your achievement if you want to call it like that could have so uh in terms of like just read really the groundwork it's just like looking looking at everyone who succeeded and even like me in many areas that I succeeded in terms of like just really trying to set up myself for the for the future that I want in terms of like just going in the right direction um I'm no longer like intre- I already expressed it multiple times that I'm just like no longer interested in um just flash lifestyle or anything like that it's just like I find it very um, I find it like f- the same way as if you go and eat in expensive restaurants, like the food doesn't even taste that good there. I like those super premium restaurants. It's like just the food, food is super weird there. And my personal point of view is that I just like value other things more, I would say. Um, yeah, so back to the topic just 10,000 hours in the beginning, like give it 10K. If you get 10K hours, like just not 10,000 hours of watching YouTube videos, but actually 10,000 hours doing the thing, then you're going to be a beast. If you do not 200, like if you just like, um, that's even the thing that just doing the, the doing the calls or just jumping on calls with clients, scheduling calls with clients and doing that every single day and every single day, just leaving absolutely everything on on the floor, right, so to say, just just going all out every single day and just doing it for 10 years. And that's the thing. It's like just the continuity that you don't stop. There are many people uh, who have achieved all the things and one of the greatest factors is is just they, they show up every single year, they show up every single season or they, they just keep, keep consistent with the stuff that they're doing. And that's even a big lesson for me that I just really... Um, want to live by and just like really be consistent with the stuff that I'm doing. So yeah, great lesson for me as well. So yeah, 10,000 hours, that's even a plan for me. Currently I'm, I might have something like 5k uh, since 16 or, or maybe 6k uh, hours, uh, not that much, maybe even more. I'm not really completely sure about this, but I just really know that from the beginning, I just didn't treat it so seriously uh even like because i wasn't really times by my surrounding back then and i had different kind of people influencing me mainly my parents since i was still living with them and now just like really being focused on the stuff that i actually know well uh 
take the stuff forward, just 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 pushing pushing the most that I can in those areas. And then maybe just to tie in another topic to this one is that um, if something is worth doing, then it's worth doing well. Uh, so that's also with the accurate expectations, just doing maybe l- less stuff, but actually not just seeing if something is going to work, but actually putting a lot of effort in and making it the stuff work because everything could, almost everything can work if you put the effort in. And also if you have kind of like the drive, uh, competitiveness, that's very important. Just, just being that kind of, um, maybe this might sound too harsh, but like the cutthroat, um, competitiveness uh, if if you have that then you don't really need m- many other things and you're just gonna win so yeah pretty pretty different episode today but uh, hopefully you were able to take something out of that with that being said if you have any questions if you have any rem- remarks feel free to shoot me a message on my instagram jacob dash and with that being said i'm gonna catch you in the next one bye